Okay, so here we are with a bunch of forms, and what I'm doing here is making my brush as small as possible. Then I'm going to turn on the symmetry. And now I'm just control click here in this region. And a lot of this is going to be, again, using my imagination on top of these forms to form some kind of armor. And I would always leave the midline like that. Okay, so here... that. And you can see A produces this part. Then I'm drawing it across here. And maybe one more edge loop in. So, as you can see, it's just the same thing that I used to do. Just this time, it's more like sketching on top. And then concepting as I go. Okay, A produces something like this. And if it messes up anywhere, as long as, like, you know, what connects to what, it's just so much better to start over in that area. And that's exactly what I want right there. And now certainly you don't have to have everything connected. Like I don't have to build that whole form if I w really don't want to. Uh, something like something like what I have already as far as A on the keyboard. You know, I already got a, a pretty good production of it. Um, let's see here. Layer. Clear. There we go. Must have made a copy by accident. So here, let's say instead of producing this entire form, I change up the topology a little bit. like that and I think the hardest thing about this is getting it to move all together and a lot of times it's because I'm using my Wacom drawing tablet which is kinda hard to do with topology you want to use it but it's one of those things that's just so much faster sometimes to use a mouse 
Also, here, I'm going to drop my opacity just a little bit so I can see what's going on. And it looks like I got a stray point here. Let me get rid of that. So now I got this thing with an opening in the back. And what I could do here is change up this topology a little bit. So, you know, I really want you guys to start connecting these things in different ways. And if it doesn't pan out, you know, you just, just unclick it a little bit. So delete some stuff, start over. See? I would say what would be kind of cool is have a hole right there where something else could flow out of it. Now, for a hole though, you're going to have to take your minimum strip length and lower it down to 4. And then you're going to have to make 100% sure everything's connected. For this, I might choose to go here to here. Then I'm just going to go into my preferences and go step back a little bit. Not much, just a little skosh back. Good, I can see better now. Good. And for this, just going to start thinking how I want this back to turn out. Something abnormal.
perfect. And just to finish it out real quick, I want to drop these to here. In the next video, I want to show you one more thing we have to kind of do to this form.